Hello guys, and welcome to today's video. Oh my god, I'm lagging. Why am I? Okay, there we go. Okay, so in today's video, I'm, I'm showing you how you can uh, record videos. And like, you know, this is how, how the process I do it in. So, I'm really high quality recording activated, but you have to click this. So, you go want to press your Oculus button on your right controller. Then it's going to pop up the menu. And if you don't start in the Gorilla Tech tab, you're going to want to click it. And you're going to want to click this button. It, it will say, uh, record. Right now it says recording because, uh, you know, I'm recording right now. But you're going to want to click that button and you'll get a pop-up menu that says, uh, allow them to hear your mic. If you want them to hear you talk, you're going to have to enable that so it turns blue. And then continue. If you do not, then just press continue. I might pop, I'm going to put an image here that shows, uh, what it looks like. But yeah. Then, after you do that, you know you're gonna make your video. Although, like I said, I have the video quality turned up all the way, so I'm really lagging the menu and stuff. But you know, you'll make your video and whatnot. Then, how you upload it. Uh, so I'm probably gonna show, start another recording uh, of my laptop. But before I do that, uh, just know that you have to, you have to have a computer of any sort. I use a laptop because I can't have, afford, and I don't have the space for a PC. But, uh, so you have to plug, you can use the charging cord that comes with your headset. And you're going to want to plug it into your headset and into your PC. And once you do that, you can continue to step two, which I will show on my laptop. Okay, starting with the next part. So you will have to go to a website it's called SideQuest. You will just search up SideQuest and it should be the first result. HTTPS uh, dash dash SideQuestVR.com So you will click it. You will click Get SideQuest and you will click Advanced Installer. Yeah, you just Anyways, uh, you just click this, download for Windows, or if you have a, a MacBook or Linux, you can click Show More to get any. Now, if you need any other help that doesn't help you, this tutorial on this, so you will click it. It should uh, download something called SideQuest Setup. And uh, you, you will press install or whatever. Then it should have a window looking like this. Now there should be some tab around here saying, um, sorry if my, my quality is bad, but it should say like install side quest into headset. Now to do that, you have to enable developer mode. I will put a link in the description on how to do that and once you enable developer mode you will want to plug in your oculus headset to your thing and it should say in your headset allow adb debugging and maybe some other things once you allow those this should pop up as green every single time you plug it in for example let me go and plug it see it says red and not detected it should say open staff instructions and that type of stuff but once i uh plug it back in, it says, it shows the green dot, and uh, I'll have to just explain this because I'm not going to show it, but uh, you're going to have to allow unknown sources, you'll have to go into your headset, find side quests in unknown sources, and, uh, and then like, uh, you have to link that to a website, I'm going to type it in right now, it's going to be sdq dot link I think uh, well it's just saying the headset where to go now I cannot do it right now but yeah anyways once you do that you will have to uh, once you link it to your computer then you will want to so 
you'll probably be in a tab looking at something like this. You'll want to go up here, move down to here, device settings and tools. You'll click that. You'll scroll down. You can change the textures. You can change the refresh rate. You can cha change this. I get. I don't know what that is. And I don't know what this is. And this is a preset. If you click this, it will set it so your resolution will be 1920 by 1080. Your FPS will be 60 FPS. And it will be 10 megabytes per second. And another thing, uh, so once you link your uh, cable, it can be your charging cable that comes with your Oculus. You'll want to click this. It should like uh, do this. Then you'll want to go into your thin, uh, your file explorer, internal share storage. Uh, you'll want, so I'll repeat that one more time. You'll want to click Quest on this side, internal shared storage, Oculus, and if you have any screenshots. You'll go into screenshots and you can find screenshots there. If you want any uh, videos, now I have a ton here, but um, you will have to uh, click video shots. For example, this was the start of the video. Just so I can take a moment to load. Hello guys, and welcome to today's video. Oh my god, I'm lagging. Well, I'm See, that's the uh, start start the video. Once you do that, you can, you know, uh, once you find a video, you'll want to, I'm not going to do it right now because I already have it, but you'll want to drag it into your downloads or if you want to, into your videos. And it should copy to your videos or downloads. And once you do, th and some more settings are, uh, uh, you'll also want to enable full rate capture down here towards the bottom. You'll see full rate capture. You want to enable that. And uh, you know when you when you take off your headset and it like turns off. Uh, if you want to disable that, you just click disable proximity sen sensor. And that's basically it. Oh, but the next part is the editing. So I use something called DaVinci Resolve, D-A-V-I-N-C-I-R-E-S-O-L-V-E. -E. So it's DaVinci Resolve, it's free, it's a very good video editor, and it's what I've been using lately. I used to use something called HitFilm, I would recommend to not download it, because it's not it's good. For example, I made my outro uh, with it, I will... I'm gonna make a new outro soon, but no. Like I said, I'm gonna make a new outro with new music and stuff. But, uh, so you'll want to download DaVinci Resolve. And, uh,. You will want to edit your videos. Once you edit them, I will go back to the thingy. I'm not going to actually export it, but just a second. And uh, when you want, once you finish with your thing, by the way, this can play the video in reverse. Oh, that's creepy. Uh, up here you'll see inspector if you want to add text so there will be something called sync bin I honestly don't know what that is transitions if you make cuts you can add transitions right now I guess media is offline but whatever titles will be text and you could like uh, you will want to drag and drop it above your thing and how you edit the text is on the side so, for example, uh, let me add some text. So you'll see it, it'll ha be right there. This button enables like editing, and if I click this, then I can you know move it around. And uh, like I said, you have to click Inspector to edit the text. For example, as you can see, as text. 
full screen will make the application full screen. I'm not going to do that right now because I just don't want to. And if you want to undo, there's undo, redo, history, cut, copy, paste, and all this stuff. And then there's effects. I have not added any effects into my videos yet. I might do that later. And once you want to export it, you'll click quick export. It will give you these options. For example, I could, uh, this will sign, you have to sign to publish directly to YouTube. I'm not going to do that. But you can like, you know, pick all these different things. You'll want to click export. I'm not going to do it. Then, uh, depending on how long it is, it should take up to, for example, this only took about one minute. It should take about one minute to about like five hours at the, probably the most. Unless you have like a 24 hour long video. And, uh, after you edit it, you will want to go into you, your YouTube back browser, so you'll want to search up YouTube. By the way, uh, it doesn't require, uh, you can, you can use any sort of computer. For example, I'm using a laptop. But you will want to click, uh, so once you log into your YouTube account, you're going to want to click create, upload video then you will find, then it will bring you to this. You'll want to click select files. And you'll want to find your thingy. For example, for me, it's going to be uh, this video, but I'm going to edit it. you want to click select files. Um, this is not going to go to the public. At least I don't think it is. And it should start uploading. Now for me, this is like, you know, 20 seconds. So it's got to be like, you know, two seconds. It's gonna be quick export. But like, it will automatically wait until it's done checking, you know? And yeah, it will check it. For some this could take 10 minutes. Okay, yeah. So if it says no issues found, then you are safe. And you'll wanna click public, I'm just gonna click. Yeah, you're gonna wanna click public if you want to schedule it to a random date. Now for me, my time's wrong down here, but you can like edit it to go wherever. For me, I'm gonna, you're gonna click publish. Right now I'm gonna get Discord ping in a second, so don't mind that. And it should be here. It takes a while to fully finish it usually. And down here, you will see dashboard, which will show you all your basic. See you later. Subscribe if this helped you.